Hey guys, it's Byron back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys how I wholesale deals and how you can wholesale deals with my how to wholesale guide step-by-step -step tutorial on how you can wholesale real estate. And I do this by using one of my own real examples of me wholesaling a deal. Today, I'm bringing you guys a, a deal that I did that included two properties that I wholesaled and closed on just last Monday. I actually first tried to reach out to this guy when I was brand new. I really didn't know what I was doing, but I cold called him way back in July and I just closed this deal in March. So you guys are gonna see how I go from July to March, end up closing a deal and making 8K off this deal. Guys, make sure you stay tuned toward the end I'm going to give you guys all of the documents that I use, all of the paperwork that's associated and exactly how I feel that paperwork out and exactly the messages that I send to the buyer and the seller to uh, put this whole thing together. So if you want to know how to wholesale step by step with all the details included, make sure you stay tuned to this video. All right, guys, here we go. It's Byron Scott and I'm coming to you today. Uh, showing you guys how to wholesale step by step guide, uh, through a deal breakdown. This is a deal that I did just close, um, last Monday. So I'm going to go through and give you a guide step by step. Uh, you, you know, maybe begin or you may be doing deals, but I'm showing you how I do deals and I'm showing you how I do it step by step. Um, if you stay tuned, I'm going to go through all the documents that I did all the documents that I use and I'll leave them in the description below. Um, I also go through and talk, talk to you guys, how I talked the seller down, uh, 25 K. Um, that was big. So just stay tuned. We'll go through this thing step by step. I know a lot of y'all are, you know, question like, how do you do it? I'm still, I still have questions. So here we go. Step by step breakdown on how to wholesale a real estate deal. Um, so just some questions that I know you guys would ask that I wanted to go ahead and answer. Like, how did I find a deal? I was driving for dollars. Like this was back in, I started, I, I started on this deal back in July and I just closed it last Monday. It took me a long time to get this guy. Um, and I'll talk about that too. So I got this deal by driving for dollars. Um, and I was just driving around my little local area and writing down addresses and I came back home. How did I get his number? Um, or how did I skip trace him? And skip tracing is just process of getting somebody's phone number or contact information. Uh, so I use, I actually use Google. I Googled them and then use like the sites that was right there. Uh, like true people search popped up and fast people search popped up. And I was just calling all the numbers and I finally got in contact with them. So how did I contact them? I was cold calling. So I was just cold calling people. This was back when I probably really wasn't serious and, and I was just kind of trying to get serious. And I didn't know a lot about uh, wholesaling, but uh, I was just cold calling. So where did I, um, where did I get the contract and how did I send the contract? So I got the contract, uh, through Flipman. Um, at least the one that I ended up using. I started out with some contract. Like I said, I, this is my, when I first started, I was just getting contracts from all over the place trying to figure out which one I could figure out. But anyways, the one I actually used was split man contract and I, I used it, uh, I used the e-signature through dotsketch.com. They give you like three of them for free. So that's why I use that. So how did I find a buyer? I used Facebook, uh, real estate groups. Um, and did I assign a double close? I did an assignment contract on this one. I'll show you how I did that. So how did I find a closing attorney? Um, I actually used the Facebook real estate group. Um, and I asked somebody in that group, Hey, you know, who do you close your deals with? And they told me the real estate attorney and I used them. Hold up. I had to pop into the video guys to tell you guys to like, comment, and subscribe if you like this kind of content that I'm bringing. And if I can bring you any other content that you think may be valuable, leave it in the comments below or hit me up on IG, REI Next Door, and let me know what kind of content I need to bring to you guys because this video will go through and break down 
all the things that you need to know to know how to wholesale real estate and we go step by step. So let me know if you like this, man. Hit me up on IG, comment, like, subscribe. Now, back to the video. So I'm not going to go through and read all these for y'all, but I like to show y'all kind of our uh, interactions, like what we was talking about or whatever. Um, so you can see right here, you know, on the first message, I was just telling them I'm following up or whatever. I had actually called them before and talked to them. So I was just shooting them a text. Um, and actually, I called them from my uh, personal cell phone. Um I, I had a Google phone and I had a personal cell phone. So I had hit them up from a different number. So uh, that's why I'm explaining it to him at, and at the beginning. And he goes through and just start responding. Um, and then I give him my Google voice number. Uh, and then I just go through and just start talking to him about the properties and want to send him over a contract. Uh, and you can tell I really don't know what I'm doing. I go straight to sending him over a contract without asking him any like qualifying questions or anything like that. Uh, but I'll show you all how I had this deal locked up way too high. Um, but anyway, so I get him to sign the contract or whatever. Um, he was going to sell me one property, uh, for 78 and then another property for 70, uh, 72,000. So it was going to be a total of 150. So, um, he had two properties kind of just side by side. So here we go, guys. I actually want to show you these two properties that I did. Um, and this is not a good image. They don't have a good image online. The two properties that I did in this deal, uh, they was on the same street, kind of like facing each other. And the guy on both of them. So this is one of them. Um, and this was a two bed, one bath. Um, and you see the Zestman is 130. And... Um, uh, there's other properties around there that sold for like 100. This estimate, what, uh, the ARV was probably around, uh, 100 actually on that one. And then this was the other property, uh, was a 3 2, uh, about 1200 square feet. And this actually probably could sell for like 135, maybe 140 if it's fixed up nice. So bam, those are the two properties that we're talking about in this deal. So, uh, let's move on and talk about more of the details. So, uh, that's kind of what I'm dealing with here. Just talking to, talking with him about that and trying to line up a meeting where I can get some buyers in there. These first buyers I was dealing with was really tire kickers off the Facebook market, uh, Facebook real estate group. Sometimes you go in there and you find real buyers. Sometimes you don't. Uh, uh, this is just more text is about, um, talking to the property manager and getting in there and uh, seeing the property. As you can see, it's still August and I'm talking to him. Um, and he kind of uh, right here, you can see that I go and I we do the walkthrough. And then I actually called him in between this and this. And I told him uh, that we needed to come down. Like we needed to come down from uh, 150 to like 120 or something like that. I think I said, um, and he got, he got mad. So he was like, Hey, you threw me for a loop. I'm going to get with uh, one of my guys. So he's saying he got a guy in the local market that he can talk to. That's going to go do an assessment and he's going to have a contract to come out and fix his properties because he know his properties could sell for more than that. Um, and all this stuff. So he got mad. Um, and I kind of talked to him a little bit, but you can see in between August the 1st, the last time I text him, um, you know, he didn't even respond to me. And then I text him again on December 26th. So between August 1st and December 26th, I closed like six deals. So I was closing deals and everything. I was closing deals, closing deals. I even closed two deals in December. And I was like, man, I want another deal before the year ends. So I started going back through my Google voice phone. And I start following up. And that's one of the key things a lot of people talk about is follow up, follow up, follow up. Like you got to follow up. You got to follow up and uh, reach back out to these people. Some of y'all have already reached out to people, reach back out to them to see if they want to sell their property. You know, and that's what I was doing with him. Just reaching back out and say, hey, look, are you still interested in selling property? You know, I was just, you know, uh, I reached out to a lot of people. Um, 
but this is the only one that actually closed but it was worth reaching out to all those people because bam i got an eight thousand dollar deal out of this so um bam i hit him up uh he said hit me back next week i hit him back again next week um and you know we just talking through uh and i actually called him and talked to him and he said that he i asked him for 120 um and he was like i can't go that low um, I say, well, the highest we can do is 125. And he said, send him the contract. So bam, I sent him the contract. He ended up, uh, he ended up signing it or whatever. Uh, and before, uh, when, before I sent him the contract, I actually was talking to some buyers who had bought other properties, uh, from me in between. That's another thing I want to tell y'all. Like before you, before I, this is just me. Before I actually lock up the contract, I contact the buyer and be like, hey, what do you think? You know, how much could you buy this for? And it's a buyer that I trust. So once you get in the game and you trust the buyer, you can send them the address or whatever and say, hey, how much would you buy this for? And I, at least I know I got that one buyer that will actually buy it for whatever price. So they told me a price. They said they can, um, I think they said that they can do uh, like uh, 135 or whatever. Uh, for both of the properties. So I told him 120, knowing I can negotiate back up to 125 where I wanted to be. And that's exactly what happened. I negotiated back up to 125. So this is just going through talking about, you know, how we dealt with the property manager. And actually we got to the point where like my buyers wanted the property to be vacant, but he didn't want to have, he didn't want to, uh, get the tenants out. So we, we was going through that and it ended up. Uh, I told my buyers, hey, look, man, this guy's going to sell this property. He's going to sell it to you for this amount, or he's going to put it on the market probably for a higher amount because he think he can get more. So my buyers end up cl go ahead and closing on it. They went over there and talked to the tenants, and they felt good about it, so they went ahead and closed on it. So uh, I kind of want to just go through and show you guys. Um, this is the purchase sales agreement that I did the first time while I locked it up too high. Um, and I don't know where I got this thing from, man. Uh, this purchase sales agreement was really long. It's like six pages, but, um, when I finally figured out how to fill out Flipman's, that's when I got the real thing filled out Flipman contract right here. And I show you guys how to fill these purchase sales agreements out to send the sellers. Um, I made a video. I put in the link above. Uh, so I sent him out both of these contracts. He signed them. And then bam, I got my buyers, the assignment contract. And I also show you guys how to do this assignment contract. Um, I'll put the link above on this too. So bam, I got the assignment contract for one. I got the assignment contract for the other. And I did two separate contracts, these two separate transactions, um, that I did. So I also going to show you all the HUD. So after I sent the contract to the attorney's office, I actually sent them this email once I sent the contracts over. And this email is just telling them, hey, look, I got two more properties. I built rapport with them. So the email is like, hey, two more properties because I already done a couple of deals. So and then I put the seller and buyer information below um, so that they can reach out to them. But I want to show you guys the HUD. So did, after the closing attorney do everything and we get ready to close, they send you a HUD to they send HUD to the buyer or seller, or whatever to approve. So I'm just showing you guys this is what the buyer has to pay. Um, for the closing. And then you see me right down here. Um, and that I'm getting $6,000 on this one. And then on the next transaction, bam, down here, I'm getting, uh, $2,000 on this one. The one that was $50,000 that I sold for 50, it was in really bad shape. Um, so that's why I got a smaller assignment fee and all that stuff. And that's why the property is really cheap because it was in really bad shape and it was a smaller property or whatever. Um, but anyway, so that's kind of the deal, man. That's, that's kind of how I went through and did the whole deal. Um, like I said, uh, I like to do these deep, deal deep dives to y'all. That way, if you have any other questions, then you can just hit me up, um, on REI, uh, next door and I'll answer your questions. Um, just, just hit me up. Uh, like always, make sure you like, comment and subscribe to the channel. Leave comments below if you think I can bring you other content that's more valuable. Um, and until next time, guys, peace out.